So recently on one of my videos, I got a comment about the Cabana Bay suite was not big enough. If you are coming to Halloween Horror Nights or Universal in general, and you have a massive group, at least six plus, uh, I think I have the right room for you. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Dockside, which is a family budgeted style resort along with a sister hotel, Surfside Inn and Suites. They are a part of basically Universal's Endless Summer Resort, which are the two budget hotels that Universal offers. So if you're not looking to stay at one of the more expensive hotels, especially coming to Halloween Horror Nights, this is your perfect choice to still get some of the benefits that are offered. So you do get transportation, you do have uh, you know, security, you have gate uh, parking, you do have access to early park admission if that is something you're interested in. And the spectacle of why we are making this video is to talk about obviously the gigantic and I say gigantic in parentheses, two bedroom suites that sleep up to six people. They are unique design. And as you will see uh, later in the video, they are pretty expansive in the space that you have in the small room. Now, Duckside has two rooms, their standard room and then a two bedroom suite, as well as it has different pools, uh, pool activities, a fitness center, game room, and a Universal Studios store as well. Hopefully the breakfast will be a lot better than uh, the lunch and dinner choices. I have the breakfast flatbread. There's a lot more choices, I feel like, when it comes to breakfast of how they do it. Pancakes, French toast, parfaits, flatbed pizza. Let's dive in and see if it's good. So here, as soon as you walk into the room uh, to your left is actually a big full size table that you can sit at and have your morning breakfast or even a snack or whatever you decide to do. Kind of just chill here, do whatever, play some Uno cards. Microwave and a refrigerator that you can store some stuff in, as well as there is a coffee maker, plenty of cups. Um, you got some you know, plating and stuff down here and plenty of space that you can store stuff. That's the one thing, there is plenty of space that you will never run out. from the kitchen is where you will actually have your two uh, beds right here. So you have a full sort of uh, two beds, maybe they're big enough to sleep, maybe two people if you can stretch it, um, it's definitely two smaller people. You actually have a nice screen TV and a really decent view most of the time. Plenty of plugs, plenty of storage. Again, uh, the aesthetics in this room is just you know, sand, surf, beach. While we don't have a perfect view, I have had a perfect, really good view uh, here at this hotel, just not here. Again, full size, so you have plenty of space if you need to put anything. You see the roll drawers, as well as another detail is under here. There's actual hooks. So you can come in and put your book bags, 
and hang them there. And so moving away from the actual two beds in the living room, uh, we actually have a little side room, which I enjoy that they give us this uh, as a little sort of private room where maybe a couple, maybe mom and dad, so the kids can be out there. Or if it's just, you know, a couple, they can just have this room to themselves. Uh, some really cool lighting in here. Uh, it actually has a nice full size TV so they can have plenty of, you know, enjoyment of that. You also have, as well as hooks in this room, uh, plenty of plugs, you got some extra seating, little side closet there. We got some uh, extra hangers, we got a iron board, so little closet they can store some stuff, have it be just their own. And then moving out of that room, we actually have a nice uh, two sink um, wash area plenty of towels and plenty of space, uh, two sinks. So that way everyone can get ready or at least brush their teeth and stuff. No one's kind of hogging a sink. Moving away from this area, there is just one toilet and one sink. So <laughs> everyone's got to share. So everyone's going to swap out and do your business and get ready. But Really, I think that's the only con I think for this room is how massive it is with the spare bedroom, the two sinks, the actual full size uh, kitchen sort of area that you got sort of that you can hang out. Then as well as the aesthetics of the living room with the two beds and it is for a budget price that you would not pay at the other resorts if you were booking something kind of this size of a room so so while this room is very vast uh, it's a lot of space obviously uh, you got two beds behind me in that extra room just want to make you guys aware of dockside is it's kind of has plenty of pros and cons to it and i know myself i've stayed here plenty of times and usually I run into some kind of problem every time, whether it's parking, just the noise, uh, just the sheer amount of people that stay at this resort. Um, I'm just going to advise you, you would be better off staying at any of the other resorts, whether it's, you know, Cabana Bay, Aventura, Sapphire Falls. But if you're looking for, you know, the space of this type of room with a lower budget, it would obviously be a better choice for you to uh, book this space. But just wanted to make you guys aware, you know, Dockside is not without its faults. Uh, as good as this room is, the resort itself has its fair share of problems. So just wanted to kind of be on the honest side with you all and be real and uh, give you some pros and cons to this. So, yeah, there you go. Budget wise, this room I think is kind of well worth it. Now, I prefer to stay at Cabana Bay and I've already did a video on that. So if you want to see me talk about that resort and how I think it's the perfect hotel to stay at when you're coming for Halloween Horror Nights, definitely check out this video and uh, thank you all for tuning in. And if you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comment section. Peace out.